Hi guys, Chad Trofgerben here. Welcome back to what is the end of an incredibly long journey for the both of us. This is the final lesson in the series in which you can now export your video and share it with the world. Before we get started with showing you that, I must point out that at this point you are probably very close to finalizing your video. However, if you have any little things that you want to change throughout the video, let's say you want to polish some stuff, you want to add some stuff, you need to swap some clips in and out, you can always do that. You can go back to your Anime Studio files, open them up, make the changes, export the videos, and just replace the clips on the timeline. This is why I had you save all of those project files throughout the entire series, because just in the event that something needs to be changed, you can easily do it by opening up your files and making the necessary changes. So once you are completely satisfied with the project, you can now go into your video editing software and go to File, Export, and Media. Now, of course, if you're using a different software, this could be entirely different, you may find a published setting where you can export the video. It might say publish, it might say save as, and you might be able to save the video that way. It might have a different term entirely. It just depends on the software. Just look around and I'm sure you'll eventually find a way to export out your video. But once you get to the export settings, we're gonna want to do a few things here. First, the format is very important because the format dictates how a video can be viewed. We already were exporting our videos in Anime Studio through the QuickTime codec. At least, that's what I was showing you guys to do. Um, if you want to stick with that, that's great. What I recommend, especially if you're doing an internet video, is you use the H.264 encoding format. And in Premiere, there are presets for this, one of which is YouTube Widescreen HD. This is the one I typically use because it exports at the native resolution that I started with, which is 1280 by 720 and at 24 frames per second. So that works out very well for me since that's how I started in Anime Studio. And I can choose an output name here. When you do this, you're essentially finding where you want to save your project as well as the name of it. So I can just go into my tutorials section here and go here. And then I can go to export videos. And I may want to name this Steve in the Alien Final. Just make sure that it stands out from the rest of your exported videos and hit save. And then you can adjust some other things down here Again, if you're using Premiere, you can adjust the frame rate. You can change the width and height very individually. You could just adjust it pixel by pixel. You can choose if you want the field order, if you want it to be interlaced or progressive. And I would definitely recommend you choose progressive for that. Um, and you can just do all sorts of things like that, the bit rate and so on. Typically, when I use a preset like the YouTube widescreen HD, I just leave it where it is because it typically gives me a good result. However, if you're having issues, you may want to adjust all that stuff accordingly. And once you do that, you just export out your video. And this may take some time depending on how detailed your video is. So that is a consideration to um, consider, I suppose. However, as you can see, it's going pretty quickly. It is a pretty short video. So that is probably the reason why. But once you do that, you can then upload your video to places like YouTube. You can distribute your video on disk. You can do whatever you want to do with it. And finally, just one last note. I do want you guys to finish this thing. You know, he's stuck there in the van with the UFO hovering above him. There has to be something that can be done. So please finish the story. Use your imaginations, let them run wild, and just finish this thing out. I would really like to see what you guys do with it. I'm hoping I'll see some animations online that complete the story. So please do that because I'm very curious to see what your ending will be. Anyway, that wraps up this series. I hope you guys benefited from it. I really do. 
I know it was a long one, but making a cartoon is not a simple process. If you're looking to continue your education in this, I will have more tutorials coming out. I also have a video blog series where I talk about animation and other related matters. So there is more to learn and I'll try my best to release more content. So please keep an eye out on my YouTube channel as well as my website, which is incrediblettutorials.com. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see your work out there.